Hey Sean is just like it sounds. I field questions from the tribe, and they usually start the question with the words, Hey Sean. Cheating a little bit, this isn't a question that was asked directly at me. It was a question posed by a nurse out there on the internets in the tribe. I felt the need to answer it. So this nurse was sharing with her fans and her followers that before every shift, she has increased anxiety, worried about what the shift is going to bring and that black cloud feeling. She's curious how others deal with it or if, if even others feel what she feels. First point I'll make is you are not alone. Let me say that a second time. You are not alone. The pre-shift anxiety is a real thing, and it's something that you experience once you realize what you got yourself into. To be brutally honest, and in my opinion, it's, it's the realization that if you fuck up, people die. Maybe I'm being a little extreme, but it's the reality. We save lives. And when we make mistakes, lives are affected. Sure, we make mistakes that don't kill people. You know, oops, you know, you forgot to check your blood sugar at 10 o'clock instead of 10.30. I mean, sure, we make mistakes. But when you're in the business that we're in and the frailty of health becomes a reality... It's a heavy dose to consume, especially if you work in a higher acuity setting. Yeah, then things things get, get, get a little stressful. And the more that you're at this job, the more people you see die. And that's tough. It's tough to consume and process. I'd like to think the pre-shift anxiety usually starts right as you're finishing nursing school and you realize that shiz got real. That it's, it's more than just memorizing tables and memorizing terms for an exam. Is that there's a human being in that bed, in the bed, and holy cr cr crap, this is d d d d d real. Did he just stutter? All right, so that's the first part. Appreciate the anxiety. It's a real thing, and every single nurse experiences it. Here are three things I think about to this day, yes, to this day, as a nurse practitioner, these are three things I think about before my shift to reduce my pre-shift anxiety. Number one, I want you to remember your why. Remember your why. Why in the hell are you doing this job? I know you're not doing it for the money. I hope you're not doing it for the fame. I hope you're not doing it for the pat on the back and the thanks and you're not doing it for the notoriety, and um, I hope you're not doing it for the bodily fluids. Why did you become a nurse? Why did you put yourself through all of this torture to do the job we do? What is your why? My why is personal, and I've shared it before. The short version is, I know how much we impact lives. Experience it as a patient, many years ago experienced what a good nurse does for a patient and what a bad nurse does for a patient. My why is I wanted to be the good person. I wanted to impact lives, to improve someone's life. So dig deep and be honest with yourself. Doesn't, I don't care how long you've been a nurse. Why do you do this? Why do you continue to do this? Number two, I want you to celebrate your wins on a daily basis. I don't care how big or how small the wins are. It doesn't have to be a life-saving event. It could be something as simple as, I got out of work on time. I got my favorite parking spot. I got to sleep in an extra 10 minutes. Working with my BFF. Yes! Called the doctor today and I didn't stumble over my words. Boom. My patient said thank you today. You get the point. I want you to celebrate every win that you have because you fucking earned it. 
we deal a, with a lot of horrible crap in our job. Sometimes quite literally. So find the light at the end of the tunnel every single day of your life, whether you're at work or at home. Celebrate your wins. And I would highly encourage you to say them out loud and share it with someone, whether that be with a family, a friend, or a fellow nurse. Could be someone online. Doesn't matter. Share your wins. Because trust me, this job is going to get dark. It's going to get very dark sometimes. And you're going to need as much light as you can get. And the third thing that I want you to do, be patient. Time in grade. It just takes time. What I mean by that is, think about where you've come, think about where you are, and think about where you're going. Three different, very different phases of your life, and you are three very, very different persons. Persons? I said persons, didn't I? I'm educated, I really am. Seriously though, think about who you were before you came a nurse. Think about who you were when you first started nursing school, and think about who you were when you graduated nursing school. Think about who you were when you first started your first job. Think about who you are now, and think about your long-term, short-term and long-term goals, five years, 10 years from now. None of them are the same. I can remember the anxiety I had going in and talking to a family member and the buckets of sweat that would pour off of my bald head when I had to make a phone call to a physician. And now I do both those things without even thinking about them. I can have meaningful, detailed, and very emotionally charged conversations with family and never have to prepare at all. And hello, I'm now a licensed medical provider. Talking to physicians is kind of the thing I do. Do you remember when I was a baby nurse and I would hear those recommendations from the seasoned nurses and how I'd react? Oh, Sean, you just, you just got to give it time. You'll understand in five years when you've been doing this a while. But it's the truth. You just got to be patient. I swear it all makes sense the longer you've been doing this and the pre-shift anxiety it gets way better it gets way better I didn't say it goes away it never goes away especially if you give a shit about what you do but it gets way better trust me three things we talked about to help reduce your pre-shift anxiety What's the tribe have to say? What do you do to reduce your pre-shift anxiety? Send me your message. Thanks for hanging out for another Hey Sean. And as always, check your own pulse first.